So I'm sitting here catching up on some of my comments on my previous Octo vlogs, and I got a comment asking me a question. This is I have have never been more excited to answer a question because it is now one of my favorite topics. Beansley87 asks, can you talk about how you run? Yes. She says, I know that sounds like a silly question, but for example, what shoes and clothes do you wear? What do you do with your phone? How do you carry it? Do your earbuds constantly fall out of your ears? Which Couch to 5K app do you use? Do you feel self-conscious? I ask because I want to start running, but I'm nervous and self-conscious about people seeing me, getting frustrated. The more I reread this comment, the dumber I feel posting it. No, that's ridiculous. You shouldn't feel dumb about asking these questions. I mean, look, if you're not used to exercising, then it is so daunting thinking about starting. It's nothing but anxiety 101. Trust me, I understand. I am more than happy to answer this question for you because I'm actually about to go running right now. I have not ran since the 5K. My friend Kristen, who's been helping me with this running thing, she's run 13 marathons. She knows everything about running. And when I told her about my not fail at the 5k, but the, the difficulties I had because my legs got so fatigued. She suggested that I take a week off. So it's been less than a week. It's now Friday. The 5k was Sunday. So I'm going to take it easy today and I'm just going to do some shorter, easier runs. I think I'm going to redo the last day of Couch the 5k, in fact. So I'm really excited about doing this. And then I, and then I read this comment. So I just, hell, heck yeah, I can talk all about running. What shoes and clothes do I wear? I'll just show you what I'm wearing. All right. It's like 50 degrees right now or something, but I'm only wearing a t-shirt. Look how helpful I am right now. So this t-shirt is from the 5k I went to and it's just, I don't know, a normal t-shirt. The rule of thumb is always wear less than you think you need to wear, even if it's kind of cool out. I don't like to bust out like a long sleeve shirt for running unless it's like in the 40s. So this I'm somewhat knowledgeable about because I started couch to 5k like last December, but here in New Jersey it got like really snowy and like really, uh, icy and there was just snow and ice everywhere and then I stopped. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. So yeah, wear less than you think you need to wear. I do have a running jacket. I'll show you. This is so cute. And this has wicking technology, which basically means the sweat doesn't get absorbed into your clothes. But I'm not gonna bust this out until it's like in the 30s, like low 30s. I get really, really, really hot when I'm running. I don't know what it is, but it slows me down when I get hot and I just try to be as cool as possible, even if it's cold out, because I'm not gonna be cold for long. And regarding the uh, wicking stuff, these pants, I got these at Walmart and they have like a wicking technology. Th these were like $10 at Walmart. I hate Walmart, but Nowhere else can I get pants like these for like $10. So eventually I want shirts like these pants, but I just, look, I don't have like a million dollars, okay? So, but yeah, you don't have to get anything fancy. Before I had these pants, I was just wearing regular leggings. Leggings that I used to wear all the time, but they got faded and stretched out and I didn't like them anymore. And my shoes, these are Nike Dual Fusion. It's not like there's a certain shoe that's good for running. You know what shoe is good for running? What's comfortable. I went to the store and actually tried them on. I know I could probably get a better deal online, but I wanted to try on my shoes. And these weren't the cheapest, but they're so comfortable. And these in particular are good for balance and, uh, balance and... Oh, balance and support. What do you do with my phone? Well, I listen to music. I used to have an armband that I used. I got it at like a dollar store. It worked just fine. It just felt like constricting. And since I wear two sports bras, I just slip it in between both my two bras. I have yet to find one where I only have to wear one. So if anybody wants to chime in on that, please blow. Yes, my earbuds do constantly fall out. I have no idea how people run with earbuds. I'm convinced that they are not human or of this world. So what I use is I have earbuds like these. See that? Oh yeah, you see that. I have no idea where I got these. I found these in an old purse like a month or two ago. And before that I was using like big headphones. Let's see. Oh, which Couch to 5k app do I use? I use the one by Zen Labs because it was free. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be moving on to their 5k to 10k app which is also free. It's like a continuation. At some point, I don't want to wreck my legs. I'm taking it easy. I did feel self-conscious about running my, around my neighborhood. I did in the beginning. I'm going to encourage you to watch my JP Metz video regarding this very topic. I'm definitely going to make my face a box you can click to go to that video. The people that matter and the people that are supportive will think what you're doing is awesome. And the people that don't matter and are insignificant will judge you and be like, oh, lol, look at her. And the reason why 
why that they're so judgy is because though they would never do something like that themselves you will look a lot better than the people sitting on the couch wishing that their lives were different or their body was different or that they were in better shape you look much better than those people. You're gonna look like an inspiration to the right people. Maybe someone sitting there on their porch or looking out the window or sitting in their car and thinking, gee, I wish I had something new or cool to do or what's something I can do with myself. And then they see someone running by. To the right people, you'll be an inspiration. To the wrong people, there is nothing that you could do to appease those people. So there's no reason fretting over it. So don't be self-conscious. Just wear something comfortable, whatever it is, and you do you. And there are going to be days that you get frustrated. I mean, there are going to be some days where you can't complete the workout. You need to do it another day, or it's really hot that day, or it's raining that day, or you've got no time for it that day, or you have to move a bunch of things around to be able to do it that day. This is not a dumb comment. I'm happy you asked me all these questions, and I really wish the best. And I I, I hope that you get back with me and tell me how your first run went. And speaking of running, I'm going to go do that. So I'll see you later. Bye. I just got back from, I redid the last day of a uh, couch to 5k and I feel amazing. A reminder, I'm not going to be uploading no vlogs this weekend. I'm starting back to work this weekend and I'm just uh, not going to do it. So Please don't be asking me, hey, where's the vlogs? I'm letting you know right now, okay? All right, I'm hanging up because I'm really hungry. Uh!